Hello everyone, today we are checking out this beautiful mid-century modern home in Fresno, California. The price point is exactly $1 million and I want to give a huge thank you to Ken Newfield for letting me show his gorgeous property. You don't see homes like this anymore. So one thing I love about this property is that it, there's like a path leading to the inside of the property and so you have concrete throughout the front of the property but it's a mixture of concrete and grass of course and the trees are lining the entrance which is lovely so i'm gonna let you guys take a look at that and also i'm gonna show you guys the neighborhood so you can see how isolated and peaceful it is here and this is at Sunnyside, well, Sunnyside Country Club, and they are on the seventh fairway here. So this is a mid-century modern home. It is 5,140 square feet, and it's just over half an acre at 27,000-ish square feet. So let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful mature landscaping. I love the potted plants and the beautiful palm trees that are inside and outside of the property, and I'll show you what I mean by that very beautiful landscaping so let's go ahead and enter the property so we do have a long covered patio leading to the front and we have this gorgeous vine and one thing i love about this house i've walked through it once already is that there's so much landscaping and it's this indoor outdoor mid-century modern living vibe here we have a beautiful fountain and I'll show you the courtyard. So this courtyard does go directly into a game room and I'll show you the game room when we get to that side as well, but just giving you the views of where you can relax and sit down and just enjoy being outside without being exposed to any neighbors. So we're gonna go ahead and walk inside now. As soon as we walk in, you can instantly see the golf course. There is no fence that is separating your home from the golf course. So as soon as you walk in, you see your backyard, your swimming pool, your mature landscaping, and right after that, you see golf carts. Uh, let me see if I can point you in the direction. There we go. I'll go ahead and minimize that now. And this is a huge slider. And you will notice several of these sliders throughout the home. So it's definitely giving that indoor outdoor living that so many people want now. Here we have a dining area so you can entertain friends, guests, and you can enjoy the ambiance of being almost outside but not quite outside. Now you will notice throughout the property there are several walls that are block walls. And I'm gonna go ahead and take you to the right wing of the house. First, we're going to start with the primary suite. Well, actually I said game room, so let's go down to the green room. One thing you'll notice is this is all storage. Tons of storage. As we walk into the game room, you see the courtyard views. You also have your pool table, of course, refrigerator for drinks. And you'll notice that the ceiling is at an angle, so it is sloping upwards and then down the other way. Another thing that we have here is we have the first of five bedrooms. So this is a very spacious bedroom, two closets. We're not going to go in those closets. We will respect their privacy, but you do have a window where you can enjoy more views of your courtyard. So we've gotten the game room and then bedroom one. Next, we're going to go to bedroom two. And of course, please verify these bedrooms through tax records. I'm not sure if I saw comp uh, five complete bedrooms, but it's good to know you have options. So we're gonna go ahead and go to this second bedroom. The bathroom here is a full bathroom and there is a skylight. We're gonna walk through, this does connect to the hallway heading over to the primary suite and just notice all that storage again. So we're gonna go to our primary suite. Primary suite has views of your backyard, of course, 
the golf course, you have your mature landscaping, beautiful trees. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the primary ensuite. Here you have a double vanity, you have a sitting area as well, recessed lighting, standing shower, and jetted soaking tub and views of the other side of your property. We have a closet, your primary closet is behind the bed. So you can walk through and head right through. I'm not sure if this is considered the fourth bedroom, but it is an office. So let me go ahead and show you your office slash workout room, potentially fourth bedroom and your washer dryer is conveniently located by the primary suite. So here's the washroom and we do have another bathroom here. So this property does have four bathrooms. As we walk through, we will visit the outside last. <clears throat> and this property was built in 1956. Again, built in 1956, 5,140 square feet, plenty of living areas. Favorite thing about this property is the almost floor to ceiling sliders. These are huge sliders and they all open. So, I mean, this opens, this slider opens, the sliders that are you'll see shortly open as well. So go ahead and check out, I'm gonna say this is living area number two. The first was the dining area, but you can always switch that up. You have your fireplace here. You can enjoy your fireplace, wine, watch people golf. You have your bookshelves right over here. As we continue to walk on by, you're going to see living area number three. Of course, that does uh, slide as well. We are going into our kitchen. So here's our kitchen and we have a five burner gas stove. We have a sink that looks out to the side of your yard as well. Kitchen right over here, butcher block island. We have a wet bar, we passed it. Uh, oh, sorry, dry bar. We have a dry bar right over here. As we enter the kitchen and we have another sink and I'm not sure what that is. You guys leave your, leave your guesses in the comments because your guess is as good as mine. That's the first time I've seen that. Here we have a breakfast bar area with another sitting area near the kitchen with surprise, surprise, another slider going out to enjoy that indoor outdoor living. Now we're going to go ahead and head over to, this is the last bedroom. Last bedroom's right over here. Pretty spacious bedrooms. Of course, with the house being over 5,000 square feet, that's one of the luxuries of living in a bigger house. Here we have another full bath. And here we have a three car garage. This is storage, so we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go outside next. I might not be strong enough to open this slider, so I'm gonna go through the primary suite because that door opens easily. I'll just unlock it. Now, as we exit the primary suite, I'm gonna look out pretty far so you can see how beautiful and lovely these trees are. But you do have quite a lot of room to entertain. Oh, this was once the house of legendary football coach, John Sweeney. I hope I pronounced his name right, but we have plenty of sitting room here. Lovely table where you can entertain or space where you can entertain. You have your palm trees, beautiful Pebble Tech swimming pool. And of course you're right on the seventh fairway of this home. So anytime you wanna golf, you can go for it. And this is Sunnyside Country Club. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a view of the house from the golf course. And of course those trees are beautiful. So let's go ahead and check out the side yard and see what there is. And then we'll go through the other side yard, but there's like little lizards 
scaring me earlier, so I'm trying to be brave. And we have, oh, lemon tree, roses, storage area right over here, jacuzzi, a little more private. And I'm just gonna take a peek. Are these olive trees? Well, not sure if these are olive trees or not, but this is a lovely area. And we're gonna go ahead, and that does lead out to the front of the house, so we're just gonna go ahead to the other side of the home. And as we're walking, I'll just repeat some details for anybody new coming into the chat. This is a 5,140 uh, 5, square foot home, five bedroom, four bathrooms. The lot is just over 27,000 square feet, just over an acre, or half an acre, just over half an acre. And here's some more views. It was built in 1956 and is a beautiful mid-century modern home. And you have some beautiful landscaping. Lilies, monceras, oh, more lizards. And this is the other side yard. And if you want to preview this property or have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Huge thanks to Ken Newfield again for letting me get a video of this property. If you guys have any questions or more storage over here. And I'll end with the front of the home. And a view of the neighborhood. Plenty of parking, plenty of space. Lots of privacy here. And we are more in the Sunnyside area of Fresno and Sunnyside Country Club. So give me a call if you have any questions. Thanks for checking out this home. Bye.